this code sample when we check its output we get a table with uh, data the data is stored in a simple text file we keep on uh, the same HTTP server on which we have the file angular http.html angular http.html the file we currently browse if we try to browse directly http data.json we shall get the exact uh, uh, text http data.json includes now if we check the code inside angular http.html we can find that there is a script element that refers the angular.js library and there is also a script element that refers uh, another file angular http lib.js where we define the function library controller this function as any other function in javascript is actually an object and this specific object serves as the controller that um, applies for this uh, specific div element. Therefore, over here, when we use the dollar HTTP service, which is actually an object on which we can invoke various methods such as get, passing over uh, the URL relative uh, uh, URL in this case for the HTTP data. Dot JSON, we actually uh, indirectly initiate an AJAX-based HTTP request for getting the content of that, of that file and when the response arrives then this function a function we pass over to the function success we invoke on the object we get uh, when calling the get uh, method so this function that we pass over to the success method is executed when the response arrives and then we can take the response and we already know the response what it includes it includes um, JSON that defines an array of uh, four objects so that array is assigned to books a model we create and then that books array is iterated over here and each iteration the loop focus on a specific book and its details are printed out to the screen as a separated uh, row in the table we created so that's why we get this output.